Hello and welcome to the Free Motion Challenge Quilting Along. In this video series, we're learning how to combine machine quilting with a layered technique to create some amazing effects. In the last video, we learned how the basic technique works. In this video, we're gonna build on that technique by adding even more quilting. But be sure to hang around to the end because I have some quilting eye candy for you and I'm gonna tell you about some brand new color options. So let's get to it. In this video, we're gonna work on the middle third of your quilt. So quilt a couple of extra wavy lines to divide the middle quilt into a section. Then travel over the edge and quilt another wavy line that's about two inches away from the first set of wavy lines. Repeat on the other side, quilting a couple of wavy lines about two inches from the wavy lines you quilted in the last video. Basically, I want two sets of wavy lines with a gap in between. Now in the very center of my area, we're gonna quilt another big design, leaving a good couple of inches on either side of it. And I think what I'm gonna quilt is a feather. I'm quilting a spine down the center of the area, and then I'm gonna add my petals on one side of it, quilting a line that arcs out, travels back, then quilting another petal out and back into the spine. I'm gonna repeat quilting these in groups of two along this side, then echo the spine and do the same thing on the other side. I know that some of you that are watching have already taken the Feathers Free Motion Challenge quilting along. If you have, leave a comment below letting everyone else know how easy this feather is once you learn how it goes together. If you want to see for yourself, check out the description box below. I'll have a link to all the videos in that free motion challenge. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you'll know that this is not very much quilting for me. But that's because I'm going to cut away fabric and then add some more quilting. What I'm going to do is cut away the top fabric in this area. These bigger areas are so much easier to cut apart. Once the top layer or top two layers is cut off, now I can come back and add some more quilting because I like to quilt things to death. I really don't have a better reason than that. If you're quilting along with me, you can quilt any design that you want in this area. I'm gonna go with wishbones because it's my favorite shape to fill in between the irregularly shaped wavy lines of this design. And if it looks familiar, it's because we learned it during the very first free motion challenge quilting along. Man, that seems like so long ago. As you're quilting, don't worry about those raw edges. Either your foot will move them out of the way or you'll quilt over them. Either way, it's gonna be completely fine. I think on this side, I'm gonna switch it up just a bit, maybe do some ribbon candy. If it doesn't look familiar to you, it might be because we haven't done it in a free motion challenge yet. But don't worry, we'll be seeing this design later on next year. If you bought the coordinating thread kit, this is the perfect place to use a darker thread color. Once I'm done with these two sections, I think it's time to cut a little bit more away so that I can do a little more quilting. I'm being careful to only cut away the top layer because if I go all the way to the bottom layer, there's gonna be nothing to cut out once I add more quilting. These sections are cut out and I'm gonna do a little bit more quilting on each side so I can do a little more cutting to add more contrast and depth to the quilt. On this side, I'm gonna quilt some smaller leaves. Remembering that if I want to cut any of the fabric away from between the lines, I need to leave myself about a half of an inch of space in between the quilting. On the other side, I think I'll just add a couple more wavy lines. I think this striped fabric might be my favorite. Look how cool it looks behind the gold fabric. Well, I mean, it looks pretty cool, except I'm gonna cut away some of it to reveal the teal that's underneath. Okay, so now let's see what that looks like on a long run. Spoiler alert, it's pretty much the exact same thing. I'm gonna start by quilting some wavy lines, leaving a gap in between them. I think I'm gonna stick with a the feather theme and add another feather in the center of this quilt. cut away some of the top layers and add a little bit more quilting.
So, so far I've quilted, then cut, then quilted some more. So you know what the next step is, just a little bit more of cutting away the fabric. The reason I love this technique is that it adds a little more complexity to the design. On our quilt, we're using three layers of fabric, but you can still get a cool result from just using two layers. This quilt has a bright main fabric and a contrasting top fabric. I quilted some swirls, then cut away the rest, and of course added even more quilting. It's a great way to make a complex looking quilt really easily. I use the same exact technique on this quilt as well. An amazingly beautiful panel and contrasting fabric means that this quilt really makes an impact. Want to see exactly how I quilted it? I sure hope so because I've put together a bonus video which shows the quilting process. You'll find it in the links below. I've had many, many requests for some different color options, so I've put together two more kit options. One uses a luscious purple as a main print, and the other has beautiful blue written all over it. And don't worry, they each have their own coordinating thread collections as well. Details for these kits and links to all that are below. Okay, now it's your turn. Quilt the center part of your quilt, then cut and quilt, and maybe even cut some more. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video where we're gonna add even more fabric to the top to create a truly one-of-a-kind piece. I'll see you then. Happy quilting.